Good afternoon. Today we are making um, a um, braided bread, um, otherwise known as challah. It is the first time that I am attempting to make this bread. The recipe seems uh, easy to follow. All you need is four and a half cups of flour. You need a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Um, you need a quarter cup of oil. And we're gonna use two whole eggs and an egg yolk. Now, when you break the third egg, we're gonna keep the white and that is gonna go on to uh, do an, um, a, a brush to the, the bread at the end before we stick it to, into the oven. And it's called a uh, white wash, an egg wash. Um, in here, I already have um, the yeast uh, fermenting with lukewarm water and it's one cup of water for two teaspoons of yeast. Uh, so that's already been in there sitting for about, you know, you can let it sit for about 10 minutes and still, until it becomes kind of like frothy like this. And, uh, and then um, that is ready to go into the dry mixture. So as always, we take the dry mixture and we incorporate it all together. So there's the sugar and the salt. We mix it up a little bit. There we are. Just mix it up a little bit like this. Now the challah bread is a bread that is uh, traditionally uh, used for uh, Jewish holidays, uh, the Sabbath. And um, there's a lot of um, tradition and a lot of meaning behind this bread. Um, I encourage you to, to look it up. It's very interesting. So we got that going. Now we're going to incorporate two eggs in there. Two whole eggs in there. And the third is going to be just the egg yolk. Well, the best way to get a nice egg yolk is to do it with your hands. I always like to work with my hands. So we incorporate the third one there. All right. We mix that around a little bit. It's going to become very doughy, very, very sticky. We use a hand beater afterwards. And this bread, once the dough is done, you have to let it rest about one hour to one and a half hours. And then we'll attempt the braiding. Like I said before, it's the first time that I do this. So we cross our fingers that everything comes out. Perfect. Or at least edible, if not perfect. Because you know what I've said before, you don't have to be perfect in the kitchen. The kitchen is just being creative, artistic. So nothing has to be perfect. It just has to taste well. Now we incorporate the wet yeast in there. Mix it first with a wooden spoon. Just to kind of get as much of the flour moistened. I don't know if you can see in there. So once we've done this and it's very sticky. We will beat it a bit with a hand blender and then we'll finish off the dough by knitting it a little bit. Uh, we're going to let it rest in a bowl. We just put a little bit of oil in that bowl. We're going to cover it up with a damp cloth and we're going to let it rest for about an hour. Once it's doubled in size, you know that the bread is ready to be braided. See if we can mix this beater. Take our hand beater. I've 
really love to know if you uh, folks are uh, doing this. And I'd love to see uh, pictures and results. If you are uh, brave enough to try this at home, which you should be, and you should be doing it with your kids. It's a great time to bond with your kids. Anytime you're doing any baking or cooking, it's always fun to do it with the kids around. I think this is good enough to knit it a bit. supposed to be a sweet bread. Consistency is not as moist as most uh, breads are. type of dough. This is the best way to knit your dough, I find anyways for me. You bring it in and you bring it back out. Bring it in, bring it back out, in and out. So much. Okay. So after several times of knitting your dough, you want it to rest. Like I said, put a little bit of oil in a bowl. Put your dough in there, a damp cloth, and you let it rest for about an hour and then we'll come back to it. All right, now that the dough has uh, doubled in size, we're gonna do a, a five braid um, strip. We're gonna cut the bread into five. We're gonna two. We're gonna braid it five times. Once this is done like this, so we'll take one and you just you roll it with your hands. So we roll it. it doesn't have to be a, a certain thickness, or I think this would make a good loaf of bread. So you just work it with your hands like this. Rest a little bit, let the yeast come into effect again. And we do this for all of them. So now we've rolled up five pieces of the dough. So to put them together, bear with me a second here. We're gonna take the five pieces. All right, so we start by kind of putting together 
the corners like this. So we got it all together here. Roll it like this. Now we're going to take three sides and two sides. So we'll start the out. We'll bring it in. And then we take the, the one that's out and bring it into the three here. The out. Bring it in. Again, you do the same motion, the out, you bring in. So you'll always know your braiding. As you can see, it's starting to form here. Always bring it in from whatever side you're taking. The third, always coming in side. The last one, always bringing it inside. And as you can see, it's starting to fold. Now you can do this with a, with a three-fold. With a four fold, I'm doing a five, you can do a six fold as well. And this is what it's going to give you. So we'll take the out, bring it in, out, bring it in. We'll do the same thing until you're done. And we cross our fingers that it turns out as beautiful as the picture. As I've mentioned before, and I'll mention again, this is the very first time that I'm ever doing this. So hopefully, even if it's not maybe uh, pleasant to look at, hopefully it will be uh, quite delicious to eat. And here we are, and we do the same, bring all the pieces together. Just bring it in like this. We put it on a piece of parchment paper. Like this. So we have the ache white that we kept from earlier on. Just get rid of it. There's nothing much to do. I just like to beat it a little bit. Then we take a brush. Make sure you get every nice corner, give it a nice glittering shiny texture, crust. And now we cook this in the oven at um, 375 for 40 minutes. So for 40 minutes, 375, preheat your oven before. And we'll be back to show you the end result. All right, so this is uh, the bread that just came out of the oven. Um, I should have made it probably tighter and a little less. I think my oven is a cooks a little more than most ovens. So for myself, I wouldn't put it 40 minutes. I'd probably put it 30 minutes and then check on the bread um, and make it tighter as you can see um, nonetheless it uh, smells good and for a first time I'm not too disappointed um, we'll see tomorrow morning when we cut it up and melt some butter on it and have it for breakfast um, I hope you enjoyed this and um, we'll see you soon stay safe